The fear of blood tends to create fear for the flesh. You should not be walking out on the roads like that. You're going to get yourself run over. Anyway, hello there gamers, Gondor here, and welcome to Let's Play Silent Hill. This is a survival horror game, kind of in competitive terms to Resident Evil, I suppose, but I'm going to be honest, I think Silent Hill is just a little tad better than Resident Evil because um, Silent Hill did, oop, Silent Hill did used to scare me um, back in the day. You know, a lot better than Resident Evil done. So, first of all, let's go into our options. Okay, that's just, uh, all of this, we don't really need to fiddle about with that. So, let's go start. We have three difficulties, easy, normal, and hard. Um, I think for this one we'll go normal. Because, well, I don't want it to be too easy. Okay. Ooh, a lot of weirdness going on there. Okay, so it looks like the little girl is gone. Cheryl, where could you be? It's strange. It's quiet. Too quiet. This place is like a ghost town. Cheryl? Okay, so we know the girl's name is Cheryl. So, why don't we go ahead and try and find her, shall we? Footsteps? Ah, there she is. But she's just standing there with her arms folded. Cheryl? Is that Cheryl? Where are you going? Hey, wait! Stop! Exactly. Stop. Uh, don't young kids these days pay any attention to their parents? So ungrateful these days, little kids. I can't even stand them. It sounds like this. I'm glad I am not a parent myself. 
Because would I be a good father? <clears throat> Probably not. You know, I wouldn't be able to stand all the crying of them when they're babies or the I want this and I want that when they start to get older. Oh boy. But anyway, this doesn't look good. Big splatter thing here. But first we'll let this guy get his breath. Of course I know this this guy's name, but I'm not telling you what his name is yet. We will find out his name later. I don't know. Looks like something's been killed here by the looks of it. But anyway, we're not here to look at that. Let's go ahead and try and find Cheryl. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. We run into gates. That's how we get through them. That's strange. It's getting darker. Okay. Let's, um... Let's just go back for a minute because I don't really like that. But I know what's going to happen next, but if you do come back, you, you get to see this. A dead end? What the hell? So yeah, your way is blocked. You know, just in case if anyone's not actually came back this way. Although I'm pretty sure some people have, but this is the first time I ever did. Well, sorry, second time because, you know, I have went back once before and then after that I just kept going forward. A broken wheelchair? What's this doing here? I don't know, but the wheel's still turning. And I, I've always wondered what our character here is holding. You know, some say it, it's a match, some say it, it's a lighter. What's this? That, my friend, looks like a morgue tray where they have a dead body on it. And there's blood everywhere all over the floor. I am not liking the looks of this. But yeah, when I first played this game, especially this bit with the intense music coming up, did it did kind of scare me. So I'll be quiet here so I can let you guys listen. What is this? What's going on here? Yeah, what the hell is this? What? What's this doing here? I don't know. <gasps> ah! Little mini assassins! Even though they're not really mini assassins. Run! Get out of here! Run! Run! Uh oh! Ah, but don't worry guys, because you're actually supposed to let these things take you out. Although what I was trying to do is, if you actually do try and run back to where you came, it would be blocked off. Hmm, who are you? Was I dreaming? How do you feel? Oh, like I've been run over by a truck. But I'm alright, I guess. Glad to hear it. You from around here? Why don't you tell me what happened? Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. I came here for a vacation. I just got here. I don't know what happened. I'd like to find out myself. Uh-huh. Have you seen a little girl? Just turned seven last month. Short, black hair. My daughter. Sorry. The only person I've seen in this town is you. Where is everybody? I'd tell you if I knew, believe me. But from what I can tell, something bizarre is going on. That's all I know. Hmm. What's your name? Harry. Harry Mason. Sybil Bennett. I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. The phones are all dead, and the radio too. I'm going back to call in some reinforcements. Hmm.
hold it. Where do you think you're going? My daughter. I've got to find her. No way. It's dangerous out there. In that case, I need to find her now. Cheryl's my little girl. I can't just leave her out there by herself. Have you got a gun? Um, no. Take this, and hope you don't have to use it. Now listen to me. Before you pull the trigger, know who you're shooting. And don't do it unless you have to. And don't go blasting me by mistake. Got it? Yeah, thanks. You do best to stay nearby. I'll be back with help as quick as I can. Well, <clears throat> it's not very often that a police officer actually gives a stranger a gun to defend himself, but hey, if you're in a creepy town like this, well, if I was a police officer and I was offered a gun to defend myself, sure, I'd gladly take it. So, we now have the handgun. Handgun received from Civil. Holds up to 15 rounds. Let's go ahead and equip it. It's got 15 bullets in it already, so probably be wise not to fire it all over the place without needing to. So, let's explore this place for a bit. We get a health drink over here, which will recover our health a bit. Flashlight. We will take it. And of course, it wouldn't be sand hell without a map. Because after all, look at this place. Pretty soon, we'll have to go down most of these streets. This is a safe point, I'm not going to use it right now. Over here, we can take another health drink. And, if you like, a kitchen knife. So, I think that'll be us, so why don't we go ahead and get out of here and start looking for Cheryl, shall we? What's that? Huh. Radio. What's going on with that radio? I don't know, Harry. It looks like it's um, emitting static, I suppose. <gasps> Uh-oh! Okay, we have our first monster. But let me just show you something. If you try and leave, I've got to beat that monster. So yeah, you won't be able to leave. So, nothing much to do but to aim our new gun and start blasting this thing. This is not a dream. What's happening to this place? Oh, there we go. It doesn't really take that many bullets to take this thing down. But, wait a minute, did we pick up the radio? No, we didn't. Because obviously we were distracted by the flying creature. So, let's pick up the, ra the little pocket radio. So, let's go into our inventory for a minute. So we now have two health drinks, supplies, nutrition to recover a small amount of stamina. We have the kitchen knife, hard to use but better than nothing. The flashlight, one touch on off switch in the chest pocket. And the pocket radio, portable radio that emits static when monsters are near. Okay, now if you want you can have the radio on or off but I'll keep it on for now. Our health is the picture of Harry and the little green kind of light which is behind his portrait so I'll say the more red it gets the more damage he's taken and therefore it would be wise to try and heal him up where could Cheryl have gone I guess I'll check that alley again and since Harry Mason has a awesome memory even though it was pretty dark he somehow knows that we have to go down into Finney Street's little alleyway so to bring out the map we can just press triangle Okay, but before I do, I would like to head all the way up Bachman Road. So we need to head right. Oh yeah, I'm pressing cross zooms in and out of the map. So we need to head right, which will be this way. Oh, and look at that. They gave us some hang-on bullets right off the bat because obviously we uh, Sybil never gave us any hang-on bullets with her gun. Some police officer she is. No parking anytime. Don't know why, unless this is a someone's um, private area, I suppose. 
So yeah, even though that Silent Hill's a bit foggy, it would be kind of wise to like really keep an eye out for items because normally they can be right in front of you and you can't even see them. Right, so is it up this way? No, nope, it's still up that way. So yeah, be prepared for me to continuously look at the map once in a while. Now, the reason that I want to go all the way up to Batman Road is, well, I'll show you when I get there. Ah, there's a motor here. Eight. Oh, wait, can I go in here? Because the door looks open. Alright, sure, why not? Let's see if we can... Oh, there we go, there's a health drink. And because obviously I'll be playing on normal, so... I'll need as much things as I can because I'm going to be honest, this is the first time I've ever actually played this game on normal. So, yeah. This will be kind of interesting because, you know, I usually mostly play games on, on easy. Unless, of course, if they don't have any easy difficulty and they just um, have normal. But anyway, over here we have a first aid kit. It works just like the health drinks, except it's a lot more better. There's a safe point over there, but I'm not going to use it. Now, is there anything in these, like, um, tills? Nope, absolutely nothing. Right, there's an alley. Oh, whoa. Yeah, better watch out for this thing. Come on, I want to go down the alley, please. Down the alley, Harry. Harry! Get! Uh, I really don't want to waste bullets on this thing, but... There we go, get away. That's it, one bullet will scare off. Nope, nothing in there. Run away, run away! So yeah, up to Batman Road. Uh, now, if I can just find it through all this fog. I think it's up this way. Yep, here we are. This is Harry's car. And if you don't know where it is on the map, or if you've never revisited it, it's up here. Okay? Just in case if you ever want to see what Harry's car looks like, but that's not the only reason why I'm here. If you examine it, we get a health drink. But we only get one. Right, how's, how's my health? I took quite a bit of a beating there. Oh wow, yes I did. Um, alright, I'll use one health drink. So yeah, that's all I wanted to show. So now we can go ahead and start looking for Cheryl, shall we? And she is, if I turn right from here and down the wee alley. Wait, I can't remember, is, is there anything here? No, I don't see anything. But I do hear a whole load of flying creatures, so... Better get the hell out of here. Yep, just making sure. Because, like I said, they can usually uh, place items anywhere. Of course, I probably may have missed one or two, but... Wait, was there something on that bin? Nope, nothing. Yeah, go away. Nobody likes you. Oh god, there's a dog. Okay, so, better just wait until Harry gets his breath back. Because yeah, um, the more you run, um, Harry gets out, out of breath. So... I don't know if that really affects him in any way, I can't really remember. But, yeah, it's it's always usually wise to let him get his breath back from time to time. Just in case if it actually does affect him in any way. Oh, here we have some handgun bullets, lovely jubbly. Hmm. But now the way that we went before is now all blocked off. So, what do you guys think? Was it really a dream? 
or did that actually happen? Anyway, we have a steel pipe, which is another weapon for Harry. A three inch long steel pipe, long range, but of limited use. Right, so I'm probably guessing that the steel pipe will break. Now, I'm going to be honest, I've never used the steel pipe. So, it might break. If you guys have used the steel pipe in this game and you know its, it's uses, then obviously leave them in the comments below. Isn't this Cheryl's sketchbook? Hmm. She's at the school. At the school, eh? Well, the only school I see is all the way at the bottom left-hand corner, Midwich Elementary School. Okay. And of course, just for the hell of it, I'm going to examine the sketchbook because you can see a little drawing of what's supposed to be Harry by Cheryl. Okay, he gave it to her on our fifth birthday. Very nice. Well guys, you know what? I think that will actually do it for today. So, next time on Let's Play Silent Hill, we will head off to Midwich Elementary School. So, I will see you guys then.